Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome to the student center of our uh, course section here. I'm Professor Curran, and I'll be uh, the professor for this particular class, and I thought I'd walk you through uh, a little bit of the features that are in the student section of the course shell, and, of course, to welcome you to Business 302 Management Concepts. Uh, for those of you who are relatively new to the online world or to Strayer University, uh, I thought I would take some time to kind of help you through some of the things you might be uh, looking at in the course shell here, especially if you're, as I said, not real familiar with either the university or this online platform. Uh, some of the more important things you're going to look at here in the student center here, uh, especially in the class information things. There's a lot of stuff in here, a lot of useful information, and so you want to take some time. I know it looks like there's a lot there, but you want to take some time this week to kind of walk through it all and get yourself pretty familiar with how things run in this particular section. Uh, some of the more important things you're going to look at, if you look at the top of the student section, there is a part for professor information. Uh, that's stuff about me. Uh, probably the most important thing that's in there is my phone number. Uh, 412-200-0978. That's my cell phone number. Uh, the cell phone's never more than three feet from me at any given time, so my preferred method of communication is via phone. Uh, some students like to email. The challenge with email is that usually when you have an issue or problem, the computer crashed while you're taking a quiz, uh, a deadline is rapidly approaching and you're not sure what to do, there's an immediacy to that. You need an answer now. Okay. So if you email me by the time I get around to reading the email, sending my response, you reading the response, uh, generally speaking, it's much quicker to simply pick up the phone and call me. Uh, generally, if you call me after 10 p.m., may or may not answer, but I will get back to you much quicker generally than via email. So please, as I said, feel free to call me. Uh, I like to make this class as close to a, a campus experience as possible, so please, Feel free to pick up the phone if you're confused about something, call me. So that's an important piece of information um, in the class section that you want to uh, make sure you're aware of. Okay? A couple other things. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, things about expectations for the class, etc. And among the more important things on there are the uh, due dates for assignments. We have in this course pretty straightforward in that there are quizzes each week except week one. There are discussions each week two major writing assignments, and a PowerPoint presentation. Okay? So all of those assignments, all of the due dates, all of the rubrics are listed in the student section. So before you do a reading assignment, okay, or a writing assignment, I'm sorry, before you do the writing assignment, please check the project sheet so you know what the expectations are. Check the grading rubric so you know how I am going to evaluate your assignment. So you should go through that item by item. Okay, have I done this? Check. Have I done this? Check. Have I done this? Not so much. Maybe I should add some more. So you want to do that as much as possible, too. Um, the quizzes come straight out of the textbook, so you're absolutely going to want to make sure you have your textbook handy when you take your quiz. The discussions are a key point with me. Um, it really is one of the few ways we get to interact uh, so I get a feel for how you operate, how you think, uh, how you answer questions, how you solve real business problems, okay? Which is really what we want to get good at in here. So the discussion board is one of the primary forums we get to do that in. I posted in the student section here, under the class uh, section, a sample discussion. So you get an idea about what I'm looking for. Some students are used to a short posting, maybe one or two a week, and then being done. Um, that's not my expectation. A minimum of three postings on two separate days. That's a new university policy, so you're going to have to abide by that. Please take a look at the depth and detail of the sample postings that I've put up here. The student that did these did a really good job. It's from a humanities class that I also teach. But you should get an idea for the type of postings that I'm looking for. And again, key things to being successful in these discussions, post early. One of the challenges you run into when you're doing these discussions, if you wait till Sunday and you look at the question and you start reading people's postings, there's not a lot left to say that's really original here. So if you post early, you do have an opportunity then to really set the framework for the discussion. And you have, a, a, as an early poster, an opportunity to say some things that other people are going to look at and go, oh, I wish I would have said that. So post early. 
please take a look at the sample discussions, and again, with deadlines for the discussions, for the two uh, writing assignments, uh, the PowerPoint, and the quizzes. I'm very structured with deadlines. One thing I will do for you, I grade things fast. Nobody ever waits more than 24 hours for me to grade something. Okay? Discussions all get graded Sunday night. Um, but I am a stickler for deadlines. I try to manage a whole bunch of online classes, and I really need the assignments in when they're due. One of the nice things Strayer started doing is uh, opening things a week early, or several days into the week early. So usually by Thursday, the following week is open. So, and you also have the course guide. So you should be able to look at the course guide and say, aha, here are some weeks where I'm going to be really busy. Here's some weeks where a lot of things are due. I need to plan effectively. Uh, Sunday night, for some reason, I get inundated with emails, frantic emails and frantic phone calls um, because you're not going to be able to meet the deadlines. That will be problematic. So make sure as much as possible that you're comfortable with the deadlines and that you understand what to do when. Okay? Uh, one thing you can do, though, to get a little extra points, I do give bonus points out for discussions that are 100% complete before Friday at midnight each week. So if you can get all three of your postings on two separate days completely done by Friday, and they're really good, like the one I posted in the shell here. If yours is like that, uh, you can earn up to 10 extra points per discussion. That's a lot of bonus points. Students who are usually very successful in my class are very early posters. They get their discussions up early and they're racking up as many as 200 bonus points uh, if you did it effectively throughout the entire term. Uh, do not wait until like week 8 and go, man, I really need some bonus points. Uh, it's a little late to rack too many up at that point in time. So get yourself into the habit, the very productive habit of posting your discussion completely, three postings before Friday at midnight and then you're eligible for some bonus points for that. That's really the only extra credit, per se, that there is in this course. Okay? The two writing assignments must be submitted in Microsoft Word. That's pretty clear uh, in the course show as well. Um, if you use Word, WordPerfect, Works, anything like that, you won't be able to open the file. If you do not have Microsoft Word, please get it. Or please go to your local Strayer campus, where they obviously will have it, and do your assignments thusly. You will also need to have access to PowerPoint and a microphone for this class. For the very first time, uh, you have to narrate a PowerPoint presentation. So you get to hear my voice now. Uh, I go through the whole term, and only a handful of people do I ever really talk to on the phone. Uh, so this will be the first time I've ever heard every student in the class. So that should be kind of interesting. Um, other than that, I just want to take an opportunity to welcome you to the class, to welcome you to the online platform. Take a moment and go through everything here in, the, in the, the student section. There's lots of valuable information in here. There's a lot of interesting things in here. Uh, you also might want to note that in the resource section of the course shell, I've also posted a bunch of links for some interesting case studies out of Harvard Business Review. Uh, I've taught entire senior management courses where I simply lectured and we discussed uh, cases out of Harvard Business Review. Uh, if you're a business major, great publication to look at. All of the articles that I have referenced in there are case studies that give you a chance to really think through some interesting uh, business-related problems. They are all available through EBSCOhost, which as a Strayer student you have access to. Uh, so I'd strongly recommend if you have time. It's not a graded part of the course, but it is a great way to do some critical thinking and uh, improve your skills in problem-solving and management issues. Uh, other than that, the keys to success here, timely submission of work, um, communicating with me if there's a problem, if there's an issue, if you do not understand an assignment. Most issues are very easy to clear up before the deadlines hit. As we get closer to the deadlines, like the 1145 phone call before a deadline, it gets a little bit more problematic. Um, so please, have fun with the course. Take some intellectual risks here. There's a lot of interesting discussion questions that deal with a lot of interesting management issues. Feel free to take some risks here. If you have an idea, if you have something interesting, feel free to tell us. Uh, hopefully that should make for a much more lively discussion. I'm looking forward to the course. I'm looking forward to working with you. Um, 
Best of luck in the course, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.